from the News Talk ZB Newsroom. This is News Fix. In this update, a body has been found in the search for a man missing near Carterton, north of Wellington. It was found in Mangatere Valley and is believed to be that of missing 56-year-old Ben Fox. Rescue teams and volunteers combed through the bush after he was last seen on Wednesday morning. Temperatures in the bush area dropped to as low as 2 degrees while Mr Fox was missing. A Hawke's Bay mayor is grateful for government support but says it won't go far. The Prime Minister has announced $3 million will be directed to the clean-up work in Wairoa following last week's storm. It follows another $600,000 paid into mayoral funds after 120 homes were inundated with water. District Mayor Craig Little says it'll cost $2 million just to pick up the waste left from the floods. But he says the landfill does not have enough capacity because it already has debris in it from Cyclone Gabriel. Belief women with incontinence should not have to suffer in silence. Otago University research shows 43.5% of women aged between 16 and 74 have reported some loss of bladder control. It also found many plan their daily activities around dealing with it. Co-author Jean Hay-Smith says there are a number of things that can be done when it's identified early in women. If we act quickly with some quite straightforward non-pharmaceutical, non-surgical approaches, then this may actually make the symptoms much better or even cure the symptoms. Auckland's Fowl Pacifica Festival will celebrate the late Green Party MP FSO Collins this year. The week-long event began today and focuses on his translation of a Samoan proverb, no one stands alone, no one succeeds alone and no one suffers alone. Director Ina Partisolo says they want to commemorate his death and bring together the Pacifica community. Such a shocking event and you know a huge loss for his hopes and ambitions for Pacific peoples here, so we just thought it was really apt to use that as our thing for this year. That's news. In sport, the All Blacks are resigned to the opening test of the new era not being everything they want it to be. Scott Robertson starts his tenure as coach tonight, playing England in the first rugby test in Dunedin. New Zealand forwards coach Jason Ryan, one of the few remaining from the previous setup led by Ian Foster, says they have to be prepared for turbulence. You've seen with England how they want to play and how they're evolving, especially in that Irish test. I think it'll be two, two teams getting right into the first test of the year, so... I don't think it'll be perfect. I think there'll be, you know, a few bumps and bruises. A teenager is set to make his Warriors debut off the interchange bench in this evening's NRL away game against the Bulldogs. 18-year-old back rower Leka Halasima is in in place of injured Warriors captain Tohu Harris. The game is just getting underway in Sydney. That's sport. I'm Joe Gilfillan. For more news, listen to News Talk ZB live on iHeartRadio.